Hey there guys, this is Dev EQ Time, also known as Glow. Uh, today I'm going to be showing kind of how to and where to download MacroQuest and E3. So then you can run multiple characters on EverQuest, uh, Project EQ, the Grand Creation Server. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to go to peqtgc.com. And I'll actually put this specific link right in the description. It goes to a forum. What you'll have to do is set up an account. Uh, and this is going to be a guy named Cream. He posted this, and I think he's done majority of the work out on E3 for the most part. Uh, and so what you're going to do is download E3 macro compatible macro quest here. What that'll end up giving you is something along the lines of this. You'll get macro quest right here, E3 RF2. Uh, it's going to be dependent on the expansion that you're playing with. Uh, if you're going off of Cream, you'll be able to use the Project EQ, the Grand Creation. So he has it specifically set up for that. You're going to open this up. And first off, you're going to see just a bunch of stuff. And what these end up being, uh, these MQ2s, are actually different plugins that you can put in uh, via EQBC. And that'll allow you to actually have automated things happening while you're um, uh, on other characters while you're playing one character. Um, so like for instance, one is going to be auto accept trades. And so sometimes you'll trade to a bot, like uh, for instance, a spell. And then if you press trade on your main character, it'll automatically trade on your other character. Um, a really big one, and I'm not going to open it right at the moment, is the MQ2 auto login. Uh, you, you'll end up being able to set up your different accounts and uh, passwords for them. And that will actually allow you to be able to set up uh, batch files uh, that will be able to open multiple characters with you just being able to double click one pro, uh, uh, batch. And I'll actually show that here in a second. Um, another cool one which I never knew about or I didn't know about for the longest time was MQ2 Bard Swap. Uh, unless you're maining your Bard, yeah, this is really handy. Uh, like right now I don't have my Bard Epic, and so he has basically no instrument um, resonance or whatever it's called. And so what he, what he does is he actually has specific ones and, uh, you can copy and paste this or look at it. That's why I'm keeping it open so long too. But basically you're just going to have the, the horn is, um, will going to be your brass instrument and then it'll equal slash exchange in parentheses, the name of the specific item that you're going to use in your inventory. Uh, so for instance, drum, I'm going to use hand drum. Uh, that's the actual name of the item, and he'll switch to that in between. Uh, really, really useful. Uh, th with that one specifically, too, uh, I haven't been able to get the weapons to work. I, d I don't know. I, I tried to work in singing into the actual one, so then you throw in uh, weapons, and I tried the slash exchange and put it in there, but it just didn't work. Okay, and so to go into the macros themselves, what you're going to want to do is go into macros, E3 bot innies, and there will be a list of these. Um, now, you won't actually have these dot innie files until you open macroquest and EQBC, and then open EverQuest, get your uh, login to a character, and then it'll automatically create those bot innie files for you. Um, but then when you have those bot innies, it'll automatically kind of um, associate it with what kind of class you have. And so, for instance, uh, the worst enchanter. This guy um, will have different buffs that he has on different lines here. And so self buff obviously equals. And then what it will have here is the, the name of the spell right here and the gem. So... What I thought when I first started using it too is that the gem had to only have one spell per gem. But if you see right here, I have self buff gem 8 right here. And then I also have shield of Magi and gem 8. It's basically 8 is the the gem that you can just switch all, all the time, you know. And so I, I'll have multiple buffs on that. And then so he'll just switch during that time. When that, when that spell is needed, he'll put it in gem 8. And so here's bot buff. He'll actually throw it on my main character. Whenever speed of Alan runs out, uh, he'll buff it on the globe. 
Um, so that's kind of the, the basics is what you're wanting to do is have the name of the spell, uh, the gem, and then the min mana and delay, these things, that's kind of just added little stuff. You don't specifically need those. Um, see is this one's really basic, and that's my charm there. Uh, I recommend getting your enchanter on charming if you're running one as soon as possible. Now let's go to a one I didn't figure out for a long time is the bards. So bards actually get these melodies. So you can have it, this will be the name of the melody is PL melody. That's my power level melody. And so basically what he does is he uh, runs just slow multiple times to, um, to keep aggro on the mobs. And then, so main is the one that he's always running all the time. Uh, when he auto melodies and just turns on E3 in general, he just runs main. And uh, he's actually my looter too. And so when I'm going and killing things, he'll be the guy that just goes and loots everything. And that's uh, there's a file. If we go back to uh, one back to where we are macros file, and then there's E3 macro innies. If you go there, this is just a huge list of uh, different loot in the game that is basically like trash loot but and or in, like, you know items too. Uh, so basically when you see an item and if he's skipping it, he'll say it in the guild chat or wherever you have him broadcast it. And then you'll be able to say, oh, he's not looting this. I need to go to my loot settings. I'll look up, you know, diamond. Look, blue diamonds, he wasn't, or he was keeping them. They're really worth nothing, so I'm going to drop them. You know, or I'm going to skip them, or something like that. And so you're constantly updating that. Um, and another ad thing is, so later on when Cream uh, was doing his, he was running you know, multiple characters raiding. And so he's running literally like 50, 60 characters. This is more of his kind of uh, setup for an innie. Mine isn't as complex because I'm just grouping. So really, in, in reality, well, the 1 to 70 grind is just simple spells. You know, you're going to run probably three or four spells each character. And, you know, majority of those are going to be buffs and then one new. And so basically, I've just been doing that, updating the updating the spells every so often. And I've also set up my, uh, my second set of characters. So I'm going to have 12 here soon. So, um, the auto login is going to look, um, let me see real quick. So let me show you the, the batches real quick. The batch files right here. And I can copy and paste this, uh, wherever you want to, I'll put that in the description. But there's a, there's a guy in the game that's um, Barbados is the name of his character, and he actually helped me out a lot with all my E3 and stuff. Uh, and so basically what you're going to do is put this in there, or in a batch file, make a batch file, uh, and copy and paste this. This is my main, so it's actually going to the directory that is going to have the main really good graphics or the best EverQuest graphics I can get. And then all these ones are my alt ones. And so they're going to be the crappy graphics, like black screen. And so, for instance, I'll start it real quick and just kind of give you an idea of what that is. So first off, you always got to have try to have Mac request going before you start anything as far as EverQuest is concerned. Do that. Run your e EQBC. I always like to run them as admin because they're actually doing inputs in your computer. So I, I could see that running into a problem. So right now it's going to be running six. Um, I do have, like I said, 12. And so you can keep adding to them and I try to organize them. This will be, you know, all the alts from group one to be all the alts from group two. These are going to be my two mains here. And so once you get the MQ2 login figured out and actually log, you know, all your account information, what needs to happen is that MQ, Mac Request 2 only realizes to put in your password if the account name is associated with one of the uh, accounts that are in the MQ2 auto login. And so what I was thinking to start off with was that it was weird that 
I was an auto uh, auto logging in right when I started Mac request, but in reality you have to have it set up. If I were to, I have these ones specifically just in case I get a random crash. Like if a bot crashes, I can just open this up. What it has is the login, so he will put in the, the this this file will just put in the account name right away, so the Mac request can realize it and go, oh, look at that, we. Uh, I can log that in. So, and here's EQBC right here. Uh, MQ2, all the stuff will go here. You'll see all your, your bots logging in. I have five that are loading right now. This would be considered quote unquote main. This is like the best graphics, you know, he, he has everything top notch and whatnot. This is the character I play the most. He's going to have all my, all my, or majority of my keys to be able to kind of control the other characters. Um, we'll kind of see them cascade in here. Don't judge me on my UI setup, by the way. So now they're going to start trickling in here. One, two, three, four. My enchanter is my last one right now. Boom. So now they have they auto accept my invites on most occasions. So typically what I like to have is a button on my main that just goes to every character and says Mac slash Mac E3. What Mac E3 does is it means that it's loading the macro E3 and that's what runs those innings that are in your uh, bot any file or folder. So I'm not going to play too long, but I'll kind of just show. See, I can do like a group stick, make them all stick to me. Um, sometimes I just want... My characters stay like that's my camp is just turning stick off it'll auto start playing melody so then i can have sal going you go group stick and here so i can talk to my group as well just tell them what i want as far as spells let's say uh i want voice aquilius if i spell it right Basically, we also want uh, Hand of Virtue for my cleric. So they're going to start casting them. Ink. Um, the same thing could be done too if you uh, slash whisper to him, slash send and sell. And that's kind of just loaded up with Mac Request 2 to begin with. Uh, once you start the server too, or if some new people come into the server, you can actually find players. And I've started to leave my characters in POK. Uh, you can go up to them, and as long as you mess jump temperance or anything along those lines, they'll actually cast them on you too. I'll go. I'll port POK real quick and show you a little quick. Cause that that's that's good for newcomers to be able to have a, a little helping hand. It was easy for me because I just had my six, so I kind of just started getting going. And uh, it's just kind of however you enjoy it. If you really like kickstarting with Mac requests, you know you see people running sixty characters and stuff like that. Uh, and I've seen them on the lower levels, it's at end of the spectrum too, where they'll just run 60 characters to get used to it. But, you know, for me, I'm just working one group at a time, doing my six. I'm going to go to my next six, next six, blah, 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 start grinding some A's. You know, just kind of going at my own pace. Uh, I was I was in a raiding guild on another server that was at a Plains Power Lock, and it was kind of just a lot of, a lot of stress. And, you know, not stress, but as much as it is just a lot of time involved with, you know, packing in six hours every night to be able to raid. It's just kind of not something I, I was able to do all the time. 
So being able to kind of do my own progression is really helpful. And so like I'm saying, there's like packs here. Um, so if you already have Macro Quest here, uh, what is it? Uh, slash tar 70 sham, I think it is. Yeah, yeah there's something where you can make them. But you can always find people here as shamans and stuff like that right here. Just parked and they'll give you, see if I set a camp, I'll go ahead and disband. Uh, let's go ahead and tell the worst player uh, blessing temperance. Let's go and do that. My cleric should hopefully. Yep, he'll cast blessing of temperance on me. And there you are. I obviously don't want that. I want it. But it's still there, and so someone can use it when they want. On this server, you're only allowed to have buffs at a certain level. So you can, at level one, you can have the level 46 buffs, and then once you hit 47 or whatever, you, you have the higher level buffs, I think. And so you start off with Temperance and like Clarity too, I think. Well, anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope you get into the Mac request and also get onto the server. It's a lot of fun, a lot of helpful people. Uh, send me a message. My name's Gloat on there. This is my main character. Also, I'm on FASTA, uh, leader of the Worst Guild. And yeah, come and have fun.